In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the inverse of a rational function. With rational functions, we'll need to clear the fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator. Once we do that, we will put the terms with y on one side and everything else on the other side. That way, we can factor out the y and divide to get that y alone. So, for example, we're asked to find the inverse of 2x minus 5 over x plus 3. We know the f of x is really y equals 2x minus 5 over x plus 3. And to find the inverse, we have to change all the x's to y's and change the y to an x. So what we're really saying is we've got x is equal to 2y minus 5 over y plus 3. Now we can start solving for y. First, we want to get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by the denominator, y plus 3. That way, the y plus 3's are gone, and we'll go ahead and distribute the x through. xy plus 3x equals 2y minus 5. Now that we've cleared the fraction, we'll put the terms with y on one side and everything else on the other side. So let's subtract 2y from both sides. That'll move the y's all to the left. And we'll subtract 3x from both sides. That'll move everything without a y to the other side. Careful, we only combine like terms. 2y and xy are not like terms. So we have xy minus 2y equals negative 5 minus 3x. Those aren't like terms either. Now we can factor out that y to get the y in one location, leaving behind x minus 2 and negative 5 minus 3x. And we can quickly solve from here by dividing to get the y alone. We'll divide by that x minus 2 factor. When we do, we get y equals negative 5 minus 3x over x minus 2. Now, because this is the inverse, instead of just saying y equals, it might be better to say f inverse of x equals negative 5 minus 3x over x minus 2. Let's take a look at one more example where we find the inverse of a rational function. Here, g of x is 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5. Remember, the g of x, that's the y part, equals 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5. Now we need to change the x's into y's and change the y into an x to find the inverse. x equals 5y plus 1 over 2y minus 5. Now we're ready to start solving the rational function or the rational equation for y. And we do that by multiplying both sides by the denominator 2y minus 5. 2y minus 5's divide out, and when we distribute, we get 2xy minus 5x equals 5y plus 1. Now we need to get the y's on one side, everything else on the other side. So let's move the y's to the left by subtracting 5y. And we'll move everything else to the right by adding 5x. Now the y's are all on the left side. 2xy minus 5y equals 5x plus 1. Could have said 1 plus 5x, it's the same thing. The order doesn't matter, I just like to put the variable first. And now that we've got the y's all on one side, everything else out of the way, we can factor out the y, leaving behind 2x minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 1. And then we can get the y alone by dividing both sides by that 2x minus 5 factor. And we end up with y 
is equal to 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5. But really, since that's the inverse, we should say g inverse of x is equal to 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5. What's interesting about example 2, you may have noticed, is the inverse function and the original function turn out to be the exact same function. It doesn't happen all the time, but maybe you should see why it happened this time. Completely optional. What you do need to know is for the inverse of a rational function, you clear the fraction by multiplying by the LCD, put the terms with y on one side, everything else on the other side, and then factor out the y and divide to get it alone.